Steven, talk to us a little bit about the Spartacus Legends video game, uh, as far as how that came about the transition with the actual making of Spartacus, War of the Dam, and the final show. This is it. This is where everybody is just like, they're, they're gasping their breaths. Talk to me about everything that's taken place leading up to the premiere tomorrow night. All right, well, uh, the video game, uh, Liam J. McIntyre and I are huge video game fans. We play all the time. And uh, I know Stars is also very interested in that world. So, and nothing seems like it would lend itself better to a game than uh, Spartacus. Uh, to be able to play in the arena as a gladiator, uh, I can't wait. I, I, I played an early version of the game and loved it. And, and I, I just can't wait to, uh, to tackle that again. It was fantastic. What do you think Spartacus fans will like with this version of a fighting game? Well, one, it is, you know, obviously rather gruesome. I, I, I just think I read something about it got a, a pretty severe rating in Australia, uh, you know, planning on releasing it. Uh, so we, we never shy away from the blood in Spartacus the series, and we certainly won't do it here. And, uh, you know, being able to fight in the various fighting styles and just to get that feel of actually being part of the show, I think the fans will really enjoy it. Now, what opportunities do you feel video games are opening up for TV shows, and especially a successful series, an international series, in Spartacus War of the Damned? Right. Uh, you know, I, I think there's a, there's a great synergy with video games and uh, television. Uh, you look at the success of the Walking Dead game that came out that just got rave reviews. And, uh, and I would love to see, you know, more of that, more of that going on. And you've got the, the new show on the, on the Sci-Fi Channel that's releasing a game and the series at the same time. That kind of synergy is very hard to craft since, you know, to create a video game, if it's a downloadable game, it'll take about a year. If it's a full console game, it'll take about three years. So to actually plan the timing right, to have both released at the same time, is very, very difficult. But I think it's a great challenge, and I think we'll see more of it in the future. Now, if you've had an opportunity to have played the game between you and Liam, how, who, who has won? Who's kicked butt? Without, without calling anybody out particularly, but who's kicked butt? And uh, who's been your favorite character thus far in the game? Well, I, I did play Liam, and he kicked my ass. I'm not ashamed to say it. Uh, listen, when I'm in there, you know, it's great playing as Spartacus, but there's something deep inside me that loves playing as Crixus. Because that's just, you know, he's such an animal in the arena. And, uh, and I, just, I just love seeing a graphic representation of Manu Bennett up on screen. So uh, that's really my favorite. What will you take from the experience of this being the final series of Spartacus? And how do you think that that will translate into people's appreciation for the video game when it comes out? Well, this, this final season of Spartacus has been a phenomenally rewarding to be able to tell the story in its entirety and to know you're coming to the end point instead of being surprised by it and having to scramble to, uh, to, to make the story fit the number of episodes you have. We had plenty of lead time to plan it out and really end strong. And uh, I, I, think, I think the finale will leave a lasting impression on people. I, I thought it was, even though I, I wrote it and I watched all the dailies and I, I saw the rough cuts, when I saw that first cut, uh, even I was moved and, and cried when I, I saw it. It was that powerful. And um, I think that combined with the video game, to, to see the end of the show and know where these characters go, but then to be able to take a step back and, and play these characters after you've seen their fates, to play them in the arena will just be great for video game fans. If it was up to you, would it stop after would it stop at War of the Dam? Do you think that this is it? Like I, I I've left my mark on this, or can I get just one more? I got to tell you, I think I would stop after War of the Dam. That's not to say I wouldn't do a spinoff that was non-Spartacus, non-war related, because uh, the world Rob Tapper and, and I have, have created is just so visually rich, and and the stories are so rich. We would love to see that continue. Stephen S. Knight, we appreciate you and congratulations on the successful completion of Spartacus Legends video game and also with the premiere coming out of Spartacus War of the Damned.